Skip the death drops this time. We gonna put the whole damn worm in. My thing is smoking. My thing is smoking. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tuba Morley. This is certified pothead. Smoking on one of my um late night uh spliffs. You know what we about to do, bro. We about to get into these um cannabis conspiracy theories. What I like to call um cannabis conspiracy theories. Tonight's theory is about um, Bigfoot. So we start off um is Bigfoot the ultimate cryptid, or is he simply an oversized farmer with a passion for cultivating cannabis? What if instead of avoiding civilization like the plague? which we'd all do if we could. Bigfoot is hiding out in the wilderness growing the world's most potent marijuana. I mean, let's be real. Living in the woods with no Wi-Fi can get boring. And there's only so much you can do with pine cones before you start looking for more interesting hobby. Could Bigfoot, of all things, be a secret green-thumbed entrepreneur? Let's pack this highly speculative theory in and offer zero solid answers. Let's see where we go. Why would Bigfoot grow marijuana? First of all, why wouldn't he? I mean, it's not like he has an active social life to manage. No dinner parties to host. No uh, cryptid of the year awards to attend. What else is he doing with all that free time in the forest? Building tree forts and foraging for berries? That may keep him entertained for a little bit, but that ain't gonna keep you good for centuries. Everybody needs a hobby. And what, what's a better hobby for a creature who uh, perpetually dodging blurry camera phones and monster hunters than growing cannabis it's therapeutic relaxing and probably a great way to pass the eons of isolation that come from being a mythical figure besides consider the logistics bigfoot doesn't have a nine to five to worry about no rush hour traffic to sit in no hoa complaining about the state of his yard so he got time bro he got time space and apparently the inclination to grow some of the world's best weed Got at least like, it's a little irresponsible not to assume Bigfoot is tending to his very own forest bound grow up. Let's get a guy some credit for finding a low stress hobby while living off the grid. He essentially is the Eon Musk of cannabis cultivation minus the MAGA. Here's a riddle for you. I mark your path with colors or shapes. Stuck the trees, the rocks, or the gates. Though I don't move, I show you the route. What am I? without a doubt next up could it be that bigfoot sightings aren't sightings at all what if those oh my god i saw bigfoot moments are just cannabis enthusiasts who wandered a bit too far into the wilderness picture this right you're hiking through the pacific northwest minding your own business maybe you just enjoyed a little bit of recreation you herb and suddenly you spot a large hairy figure in the distance you'd be forgiven for thinking it's bigfoot after all it's either that or to admit your senses of perception just taking a little vacation of its own in reality you probably just stumbled upon bigfoot's secret marijuana farm those thick forests and remote areas are the perfect places for him to hide his stash and it's only natural that anyone who wanders close might think that they're seeing something legendary there you know they're just really really hot either way it's less about spotting bigfoot and more about following the irresistible scent of cannabis wafting through the trees there's another riddle for you i start small and clear then grow loud and wide Rushing downhill with a powerful stride. Cool and refreshing. I dance as I go. What am I with a steady flow? Now let's consider this. What if Bigfoot isn't just some guy running from grainy photos, but is actually a master of sustainable organic farming? Look, he's been out there for centuries, or people say. So he's had plenty of time to perfect his methods. While we're out here killing house plants with overwatering, Bigfoot's over there cultivating cannabis crop that would make even the most experienced botanists weep with jealousy. I bet he knows exactly how much sun, rain, and soil you each plants need without assaulting a single YouTube tutorial. Think of Bigfoot as the ultimate environmentalist. No pesticides, no fertilizers from big box stores, just pure natural growing techniques that yield the best cannabis you'll never ever taste. Honestly, if Bigfoot ever decided to enter the legal cannabis industry his 100 percent wild grown strains would probably fetch a higher price than truffles but of course though bigfoot is not in it for the money he's a creature of principle he doesn't need the fancy labels he just wants to cultivate the best crop he can with the tools nature has provided plus he doesn't have to pay rent so 
He's already winning. If Blunt keep going out, here's another riddle. I'm sturdy and tough, laced up tight. I take you up a mountain day or night. I protect your toes from roots and rocks. What am I covering your socks? Here's something else to chew off, right? Could Bigfoot's cannabis operation be so well hidden that even the smell blends into the natural surrounding? You're hiking in the woods, then all of a sudden you smell pine, damp moss, maybe some fresh rain, and then something a little bit more skunky. Is it a Sasquatch? Is it? I keep telling you, I gotta stop saying words to y'all. Is it a Sasquatch? Is it a Sasquatch with a serious body odor problem? Or is it the unmistakable aroma of a particularly potent cannabis strain growing nearby? That might be why Bigfoot sightings are always accompanied by descriptions of a strong odor. If his crops are hidden deep in the woods, masked by the earthy sense of nature, it's no wonder that unsuspecting hikers often report a strange combination of smells when they get too close it's either that or they're catching a whiff of bigfoot's personal stash in either case then you find yourself in the forest and you suddenly start smelling things that make you nostalgic for your college dorm yeah i'm smoke right now there's a good chance bigfoot's nearby or at least his plants are here's another riddle for you right i'm on the crunch in the mouth as you walk the trail Packing your bag, I never fail. Quick to grab when your hunger strikes fast. What am I? A hiker snack to last. The most important question of all, is Bigfoot even real? Or are people just hallucinating him thanks to some incredibly strong weed? We've all heard stories about those rare cannabis strains that are so strong that make you question the fabric of reality. What if Bigfoot sightings are simply the result of someone enjoying one too many hits of Bigfoot's very own forest dream strain? It's entirely plausible that after wandering into Bigfoot's territory and inadvertently sampling some of his product, hikers start seeing things. After all, one person's Bigfoot sighting is another person's. I just spent three hours talking to a tree and its name was Jerry. The inconsistencies of Bigfoot sighting, sometimes he's seven foot, sometimes 12. Could be a high side effect that makes you question your life choices and wonder if your socks are all right. In conclusion, is Bigfoot a skilled marijuana cultivator or just a figment of our imagination? End of the day, you may never know, but until we do, it's fun to think about Bigfoot not only as a cryptid, but as a laid back, eco friendly, forest dwelling cannabis farmer. I'm Smith Oak, bro. Answers to the riddles, right? A trail marker, a stream, hiking boots, trail mix. I'll see you on the next one, bro.